love that sound. What's up, OMG Nation? Uh, guys, I need to apologize. I feel like I've failed you. I feel like I've failed my channel here lately. I had a few folks reach out to me and ask me why I haven't been doing moto vlog videos anymore, why I've only been doing stuff with Moonshine Harley Davidson lately, and ask me if the format of my channel is changing. The answer is no, my, the format of my channel is not changing. I am doing moto vlog videos still. You know the expression that sometimes real life gets in the way? You know, I'll just tell you guys kind of what's been going on. It's nothing crazy. I just have been... My father had about 33 acres in Arrington, Tennessee, which is about 25, 30 minutes from Franklin, Tennessee, where I live. We put it up for sale. We took a gamble and hoping the property would perk. The property ended up not perking and we had a guy come through and he, he knocked over some trees trying to find an area where the property could perk. Long story short, I had to spend a lot of time out there cutting up down trees. So I wasn't able to ride. I had to get the property. I had to get all these down trees sawed up with the chainsaw. I'll kind of show you some of that footage. I did film some of it. I'll show you a little bit of that footage now. Okay. We're out on the farm. So yesterday, Kai and I were out here and we put out some pumpkins full of pumpkin seeds for the deer. Kai, they ate them. Look, oh, look how many they ate. That was full of pumpkin seeds. Let's check this one over here, buddy. It didn't look like they got into these two very a lot. Dead. Or these three, I mean. <laughs> what about this one? They didn't really get into that one. Oh, I see some deer fit prints though. They had a they ate good last night, didn't they? Yeah. We can do that. They're not so close together. Maybe you'll see some more animals. Share the love, that. They might eat the whole pumpkin if we put them back there. Okay, we got a lot of work to do today. Look at all these little brush piles. Gotta get this fire pit going. <laughs> so we have a visitor. Hey, Axel. This is Axel. Hi, buddy. And my mom. We burned down. Look, so all of the brush piles that were here earlier are almost completely gone. And I just burned them in this little pit. And it's now it's so full of it's so full of coals that I really can't burn anymore. So I just gotta let it die out and then I'll shovel it out tomorrow. So it's not an excuse, it's just the truth. Um, it was easy for me to run up to Moonshine and in about 30 minutes knock out six to eight videos of, of bikes. And honestly, I'll tell you why I do the 360 degree walk arounds. Part of my, there's several reasons why I do the 360 degree walk arounds. One, I love motorcycles. I love being around all sorts of motorcycles. The guys up there at Moonshine, they're good to me. You know, they let me do a lot of things that they don't necessarily let a lot of other people do. So they let me take brand new bikes and, and ride them and, and say what I want about them. And, and they don't tell me that I have to say great things about the bike. They say, say whatever you want. They're confident in their product and, and you know, I guess they also know that I'm a fan of Harley. I'm a fan of motorcycles. I, I don't know that I've ever been on a motorcycle that I said, oh, I hated that thing. 
I like them all. So, the thing that uh, Rob's a buddy of mine up there, and, and the thing that Rob and I came up with and of doing the the 360 degree walk around, it, it's beneficial for him. It's beneficial for the channel, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you why it's beneficial for the channel is because sometimes, and we did a lot of them. I still have a lot of them to put out. All right, I had to get a phone call. Mrs. O G called me, and so she, of course, called me on a video call. So let me spin around down here, do a little spin a rooney. Oh, give me infringement. Uh, where did I leave off? Oh yeah. So I'll tell you guys another part of the reason why I do those is I, I fully understand that it brings new eyes to my channel. So maybe somebody who has never been to my channel before will see the bike, see the used bike, the new bike, whatever, the video on the bike, and they'll come to the channel because of the Harley, but they'll stay because of my vlog. Also becoming a part of the OMG Nation. When you guys, when I when I talk about that, it's just not some catchphrase thing. It, it was it was always my hope that this would be a community that that I could turn this into something pretty big as far as for motorcycles and, and positive stuff for people on motorcycles. Man, I love that Barnuminium up there. And for people that ride motorcycles, for people that are that are like-minded like me, you know, I've told you guys a lot of stuff and I'm, I'm always pretty honest with you when it comes to, you know, the way that I feel about certain things and when my opinion changes, like for instance, chaps. I've never been a chaps guy, and then a bunch of people that I know wear them. Tell me why they wear them. And let me just tell you this: it's 54 degrees out here today. I have this mess mesh Harley Davidson jacket on with a liner inside. I've got these chaps on with a wool detachable liner inside, and I feel amazing right now. It does not feel like it's 54 degrees to me. It feels like it's in the high 60s, low 70s. My point in telling you guys that is that my likes and my dislikes change a little bit, but this channel, the only changes that I'm gonna make to my channel are changes that I feel like are beneficial to the channel beneficial to you guys because I have lots of grandiose plans um, where I would love to do stuff like the law-abiding biker does like uh, blockhead does those guys where they have a biker rally so to speak and I would love to have to meet subscribers you know um, I, I had a, a subscriber that said something that he's been a subscriber for a long time and and that it, it bothered me it really affected me as far as you know what he's right at the same time you know this is the reason i'm here and he came for this stuff he came for the moto vlogs he came for my my quirky personality and that's what made him stay and i'm also doing the sell stuff so basically i don't look i don't work for moonshine i don't make any money off those guys selling bikes i've helped them sell a couple of bikes i enjoy it i like it i like doing the stuff with rob but what i decided is i'm only going to drop that stuff on wednesdays or during the week i made a commitment to rob to do that stuff i'm still going to do it i will reserve saturdays for my moto vlog videos for old school omg moto so to speak Man, every time I come by here, there is a brand new monstrous house on this road. I mean, I'm trying to buy some land out here and I can't because everybody's paying so much for it. What I'm trying to say is to my OMG Nation, hang in there. I was unable to do some motor vlogging videos because of the stuff with my dad's farm. 
it's sold now we don't own it anymore and it's freed up a lot of my time I don't have to go back out there anymore so hang in there I ride all year long I ride when it's cold outside so the, the vlogs are not gonna stop it can be 17 degrees and I'm gonna be on this bike I'm gonna be on this fat boy that looks like the Amityville horror house kind of a little bit I love this tunnel listen 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 Oh man, that's ridiculous right there. That made me feel like a little kid. <laughs> I want to go back through there and do that again. That was so loud. Oh, I love it. I love it. Man, man, man. We have something coming up in the hog chapter. Oh, I'm going to turn down Trinity. I like this road. <clears throat> we have an event coming up. It's like our yearly Christmas party <laughs> we call it bowling with little balls and what is in the road up here a very funny story is one of the officers I won't mention her name but what is this a bucket I want to kick it but I don't want to break my foot it is a bucket that was the weakest kick <laughs> <laughs> I hope I got that on camera. That was the weakest kick ever. <laughs> I went, ah. <laughs> so, look, um, she called up to the, this guy on this bicycle. Lean in it, baby. Lean it, lean it, lean it. <laughs> um, but she called up to this little bowling alley, and she said, hey, I want to... <laughs> I can't even tell you guys this story because I'm still laughing. She said, I want to reserve the bowling with little balls lanes. And, and they said, what? The what? She said, the bowling with little balls lane. And she said, you mean they have a different name for it. I don't remember what it is. But they said, you mean um, this lane is like the kids lane or something? And she goes, oh, yeah, that's what we call it. We call it the Bowling with Little Balls. That's not the name of it. That's the name that a bunch of dirty bikers <laughs> changed the name to it because we're ridiculous. And she called up there and asked them for it. They were like, what? And she goes, oh, at that moment, I knew I'd been had. <laughs> oh. I didn't mention Kim's name, did I? No, I didn't. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Man, it feels good out here today. Have I said that? Anyways, guys, hey, I appreciate you watching today's episode. Guys, I appreciate you watching today's episode. If you have not already, hit the like button. Please do not forget to subscribe. And I promise you, I'm going to see you on the next Moto Vlog episode as well. Thanks for watching, everyone. Oh, stall. <laughs>